Humble boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm from Classic and welcome to the intro. So for today what I have in here it is, well, too much delayed I know, it is Cold Vein. This game it is developed by Shift, it is a developer team that have experience in handheld consoles like PlayStation Vita or the old PlayStations like PS1 and PlayStation 2. So they were developers of the ports for the handheld consoles of series like the Auditors for example. But right now they Come, they came with this uh, game, this Cold Vein, which is available for PlayStation 4, PC, and also I believe Xbox One. I need to investigate that. So for the settings, what I will be using it is uh, 1024 per 700, and, uh, I mean 576. All the settings are at at the low settings, not at the minimum. For example, I'm still using depths of field, uh, but it, it is pretty pretty much low settings. Alright, and this resolution, it is a custom resolution, which means that uh, in order for you to have access to this resolution, you need to follow some instructions in the description of the video, alright? So, yeah, let's talk about the requirements. This game asks for an i5-2300, 6 gigs of RAM and a GDX 760. So, graphics card-wise and probably CPU, we are completely below the minimum requirements. So, we, we shouldn't be able to run this game decently, right? Well, wrong. The the thing is, with 720p with the low settings, uh, I got an average of 27 frames per second with a 1% low of 18. So the game spent most of its time below 30 frames per second. That's why I decided to create my custom resolution of 574 or 576. By using this custom resolution, I was able to get an average of 35 with a 1% low of 23. This 1% low, it is below the 30 frames per second mostly because i can notice a lot of stuttering going on in this game uh, these are not really big stutters but it's small itches uh, that happens most of the time when you uh, quickly you know rotate the camera or when you are traversing the world you can really notice those itchings but still it isn't really groundbreaking i think you will get along with it just fine and that's mostly a cpu limitation in this game Alright, so what can I tell about Cold Vein? Now that you know that if you, use, if you use this custom resolution that I did mention about with the vault settings, you will get an experience mostly above 30 frames per second. Cold Vein, it is pretty much a Dark Souls game, but with anime, you know, characters and anime story. Uh, it is actually being well received on Steam with uh, 82 or 83% of score. While Metacritic it is slightly lower with around 70 to 75 points or percent. So yeah, it's a reasonable game. But if you look to Steam comments, there are some good comments about the game. For example, I'm going to read a comment in here about um, about the game that uh, was for a you know for a player called Tsubakura. He says that it, it's basically Dark Souls, but in anime, there is a multitude of classes available that you can change on fly. All steps are traced all as dots on the map, so it allows you to understand when you move to the minimap where, where you did came from, so you just don't go back on the map confused, alright, so it's, it's good to guide you. Uh, there is an innovative way of showing you memory flashbacks, a bunch of waifu candidates, and that is a, all the good guys are bros as well. Unfortunately, not all the things about this game are good, so the maps are very linear, alright? So there is a lack of variety with enemies, so enemies are pretty much all the same, but with different skins, alright? Just like pretty much MMORPGs, for example. Uh, they also can be said about the weapons or the equipments. And also there is, there is a complaint that I'm not really sure if I agree with. He says that the key, the key items like keys are hidden in most obscure locations. Dark Souls suffered from the same issue, so I'm not going to say that this is a bad thing since this game it is trying to basically, basically rip off Dark Souls but with a Japanese story. Like if Dark Souls wasn't Japanese, but yeah, you understand me, it's pretty much like an anime story. And uh, well, <laughs> that is still this thing. It, it is it is still a defying game, basically. Not only to find the keys, but also to beat the enemies. It is still a defying game, just like Dark Souls. As for the price, they ask for 
$49.99 on Steam, which is the regular release price, but you can get the game cheaper if you buy through Greenman Gaming. There is a link on the description that if you buy through that, you will be helping out the channel. So please, if you intend to buy this game, buy through the link. It is a uh, link for Greenman Gaming. The game costs $42.99 on there, comparing to $49.99 on Steam. So it's a 7 euro more cheaper, and not only you get the game cheaper, I will receive a small bonus for the channel, which will allow me to co to continue to do this uh, this work and get the games more faster. So please buy through there if you intend to buy through Steam. The thing is, if you buy through Greenman Gaming, not only this is an authorized store, this is not like Kingwin or G2 Wayne. This is a full authorized store, a full legal store, and you will receive a key on your email, and you can activate it on Steam. So. Despite you buy through Greenman Gaming, you can activate the game on Steam and keep it forever on Steam. All right. So that's all that I want to talk about. Cold Vein. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the gameplay, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Out of those cramped corridors. The glorious past reduced to nothing. valuable. Let's use it well. This terrain doesn't favor us.
Ambush. 